1984, Russian epidemiologist Anya authorizes vaccine testing on humans without preliminary or animal tests, which leads to the death of her colleague. She feels incredibly guilty and wants to shut down the project, but Colonel Yuri urges her to continue, saying that stopping the project won't make her feel any better and that her colleague's death would be in vain. He also reminds her that the lives of Russian soldiers in Africa depend on the vaccine. A few months later, Anya receives a call from Colonel Yuri, who informs her that a secret research station 12 kilometers underground at the Kola Super Deep Borehole has recorded strange sounds and that 20 people are missing. The authorities have decided to seal off the station within 24 hours. The head of the research had hidden data about an unknown disease, and Yuri needs Anya to collect samples of the disease. He promises her full credit for the discovery and that she will be put in charge of the Military Biological Defense Institute. Anya agrees. The next day, Anya arrives at the station with Colonel Yuri, Major Sergei Mikhev, and his soldiers on a helicopter. As they land, an erratic scientist approaches their helicopter and detonates a hand grenade. Fortunately, everyone is unharmed. Anya then takes samples from the body, but the samples rapidly turn to dust, and she notices a faint red glow on the body. A soldier reports to Yuri that the scientist lost control as soon as he reached the surface and was so strong that three men couldn't restrain him. The rest of the staff is being evacuated. Anya insists on taking samples from everyone before they leave. One of the men tells her that everyone down there is dead and that it's not a disease. He urges Anya to leave while she still can. After that, Deputy Head of Station Pyotr Kuznetsov leads Anya and Yuri to the underground facility. On the way, Anya meets Dr. Dimitri and asks him about the disease. He assures them that he will provide the information they need, but he wants a guarantee that the remaining survivors sealed in the lower levels will be safely evacuated. When the team reach the elevator, they discover that Dimitri has changed the access code and he is the only one who knows it. If the wrong code is entered three times, the elevator will crash. Dimitri inputs the correct code on the third try and the elevator begins its descent. During the descent, the elevator's brakes fail to respond. Dimitri depressurizes the elevator and puts on an oxygen mask, as if he had prepared for this situation. The rest of the group passes out, while Dimitri takes the elevator key with him. After they wake up, the group explores the facility and arrives at an area where the staff usually lives. There, they find Dr. Kira and an engineer named Nikolai, who were left behind during the initial evacuation. Anya takes samples from Kira and Nikolai in the med lab and performs tests, then informs Yuri that they show no signs of infection. As Yuri leaves, Dimitri suddenly appears and begs Anya to evacuate the others to the surface through the shafts and save themselves while they can. Anya yells for the soldiers, who open fire on him, but Dimitri escapes in the elevator, leaving a blood stain on the door. They decide to send a group of soldiers led by Igorov down the shaft to search for Dmitri. While using a chainsaw to open the door, the soldiers put on protective suits to withstand the intense heat of the lower levels. Suddenly the alarm goes off and the shaft door opens revealing a sick-looking woman. They bring her back to the lab and recognize her as a lab assistant named Olga. Anya asks Olga how she managed to get here without any protective suit, but Olga can't remember anything. Olga also shows signs of fever but says she feels very cold. When Anya opens her gown, she is shocked to find her entire back severely infected with horrifying parasitic growths. Anya takes a sample for analysis and discovers it's a cellular parasite, an extremely virulent form of mold. Meanwhile, the soldiers report finding a strange light in the lower levels, and Olga's skin begins to glow with a faint red light. Anya explains that fungi and molds are among the least studied forms of life, and this particular type is unknown. This information is enough for Yuri to bring the operation to an end and start preparing to head back. Anya and Kira try to help the woman into a protective suit, but they can't lift her. Anya decides to go look for help. As soon as she leaves, Olga's fingers start bending unnaturally, and she begins lunging at the glass, scaring Kira. Meanwhile, Nikolai repairs the elevator and starts it, which will take an hour to reach them. Major Sergei tries to contact his soldiers, but they seem to have encountered trouble. At that moment, Dmitri announces over the intercom that, since they did not evacuate to the surface through the shaft, he has no choice but to seal them all within the facility. A bomb explodes, shaking the entire place. Nikolai explains that the explosion damaged the facility's pressure pump and will cause it to collapse within an hour. They need to evacuate through the shafts as quickly as possible. Sergei offers to help Anya move Olga. Upon returning to the med lab, Anya and Sergei find the entire area covered with mold, with Olga half melted to the floor, but still alive. As Anya and Sergei take samples, Olga suddenly releases spores. Anya quickly dodges, but Sergei gets sprayed and hastily exits the room. Anya grabs a gas mask and puts it on to avoid inhaling the spores. 
She then sees that Kira has also been infected and is showing similar mutations to Olga. Anya finds a fire extinguisher and uses it to clear the air around her, allowing her to open the door without letting the mold escape. After closing the door again, she asks Nikolai to use the extinguisher on her to disinfect her body. Afterwards, Anya checks on Sergei and unfortunately sees that he's already showing signs of infection. She talks with Yuri about the situation, explaining that the mold relies on human hosts to survive and can't live in cold conditions. If the host dies in a cold environment, the mold dies too. Anya says she'll stay with Sergei until the rescue team arrives, but Yuri tells her no one's coming and the facility will be shut down in five hours. He insists on bringing the live sample back to Moscow, even though Anya worries it might put more people at risk. As the group puts on protective suits and prepares to leave through the shaft, they receive a radio message from Igorov, warning them that they are under attack and instructing them not to open the door to the lower-level shaft, even if it's him. Pyotr argues that opening the door might be their only chance to survive, so they send three soldiers down the shaft to investigate. Soon after, they hear gunfire, and only two of the soldiers return, reporting that they encountered something huge which led them to open fire and damage the shaft. The third soldier returns missing an arm and decides to slit his own throat before the door closes. Then, something in the shaft starts banging on the door, trying to break through. The group quickly runs to the elevator which has finally arrived, but they don't have the key. Nikolai overrides the circuitry to make the elevator drop. Sergei's body starts glowing, and he decides to stay behind. Anya, Nikolai, Pyotr, and Yuri get into the elevator and start descending rapidly. Just in time, Anya pulls the brake lever, bringing them safely to the lowest level. The entire place is covered in frost. They find a recording from Dimitri explaining that no one really knows what these molds are. The Ice Age must have kept them from taking over the planet all these years. Eventually, the molds will figure out how to break through the permafrost. They can control human muscles and nervous systems and have learned to merge bodies together to generate more warmth and energy for survival. Yuri takes the last protective suit and decides to enter the 200 degrees area to get the elevator key from Dimitri. He admits to Anya that she was right. Bringing the mold back could be a huge risk to humanity. While they wait, Anya asks Nikolai and Pyotr not to tell anyone about the mold when they return. If others find out, it could put all life on Earth at risk. Nikolai agrees, but Pyotr seems unsure. After some time, Yuri still hasn't come back, so Anya decides to go in without any protection. She finds Yuri dead with the key in his hand. When Anya gets back, Pyotr suddenly shoots Nikolai and demands the key at gunpoint so he can return to the surface and become famous for discovering the mold. They give him the key, and the three of them take the elevator back to the living area level. Pyotr forces Anya to clear the way to the elevator leading to the surface, but suddenly he's attacked by a massive creature made up of screaming infected hosts that have merged into one organism. Anya quickly runs away and hides. She grabs a knife and heads into the freezer, where she takes off most of her clothes and pours freezing water over herself, hoping the cold will stop the mold from infecting her. She then comes out and crawls under the creature to retrieve the elevator key from Pyotr, who has also been absorbed. Anya finds Nikolai and together they try to escape. The creature catches up with them, so they quickly run to the elevator and manage to close the doors just as the creature nearly gets inside. They use the elevator key to start their ascent, but are shocked to discover Sergei also in the elevator, melted into the floor. He begs them not to let him reach the surface, as it would cause the death of all life on the planet. Anya stops the elevator, knowing she can't let the mold reach the surface. Nikolai insists on escaping no matter what, and fights Anya for control. Nikolai almost strangles Anya, but Sergei saves her by stabbing Nikolai in the neck. Anya kisses Sergei and tries to crash the elevator by entering the wrong code three times. She struggles because she's weak and glowing from the infection. Before she can finish entering the final code, the elevator reaches the surface. As the hazmat team starts dragging her away, she manages to input the last few digits, successfully starting the self-destruct sequence and causing the elevator to fall back down. While being escorted, Anya grabs a grenade and forces the team to let her go. She escapes from the vehicle, only to be surrounded by more soldiers. As she tries to pull the pin on the grenade, a man approaches her from behind. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our channel for more videos.